These are the Harry Potter ones that are still available in the original Ollivanders one boxes. One of my most asked questions is which one should I get? So I thought I would review all the ones that are available in the original Ollivanders boxes because these are the ones that people usually start with and then by the end hopefully you'll have your answer. So let's begin with the first one which is Harry Potter's one and this is my very first one that I purchased because of course stories all about Harry so I thought I should get Harry Potter's one. It has this interesting like bark type handle that you can see is a little bit worn because I've handled quite frequently <laughs> like swishing it around and like I've said before you know graze the end of the wand on like walls <laughs> which I do recommend being careful with these ones they are display only so if you mishandle them they can damage and I've dropped ones before and they've cracked and you basically have to buy a new one if you can't really glue it back together. It has red velvet on the inside and this lovely iridescent ribbon. They do come with certificates of authenticity as well. So that's the benefit of getting these. So next is Ron Weasley's one. It comes in a navy box with a navy velvet and also a really cool navy ribbon. Again with certificate of authenticity. Now Ron's wand is quite similar to Harry's really. It's got like a bark handle, but much lower down, but it does have this kind of portion that comes out of it. And then the rest of it, it almost looks like it has like finger or finger grips that are slightly worn down. Now this is Ron's second one that he gets, so replacing the one that he broke in Chamber of Secrets. Still an interesting one, but doesn't have like major distinguishing factors, unlike Hermione's wand, which is next. Hermione's wand comes in almost like an army green style box. It does have an iridescent ribbon, which is between red and green. And for some reason, my wand is a little bit different to others that I've seen. Mine is 2004, so I think they may be a little bit darker now, but mine is quite like a lighter green, it seems. But the reason I like Hermione's wand is because it has this a vine pattern that just goes round and round and round and round and round. I've not seen such intricate designs as before. I did purchase like the Golden Trios ones quite soon, like after Harry's ones. I did have them all together because I thought, well, I should collect their ones because of the main characters. So that's why the reason why I went for those ones. Now the last student of the Harry Potter ones that come in the Ollivanders boxes is Draco Malfoy. Draco Malfoy's one comes in a yellow box, which would be, I would assume that it would come in a green box. It's quite a simple one. It is rounded on the edge and it does have this gradation slash ombre effect to the wand. So the, the handle is very black and then goes to a lighter brown. But because of the importance of this wand in the story, and I won't ruin it for anyone that hasn't read the books or seen the films but it is a very important wand and that's the reason why I got that wand. Now moving on to the final four ones that are part of this one I would say next I would have to look at is Dumbledore's wand. Now we know that this is the elder wand in the story but the, in the beginning this was listed as Dumbledore's wand. Comes in a beautiful navy box and comes with a brilliantly bright ribbon the Elder Wand is a very important wand. We know it is a very powerful wand, which is another reason why I decided to get this wand. It has these cool like nodules that go down, that taper down to a quite a fine point. It's, it's very long but and very thin wand as well. I would say that it, it's quite delicate. So again, with these ones, you've got to be really careful when handling them because they are designed to be display only. Now that we've done Dumbledore's wand, let's move on to the opposite character, which is Voldemort. As imagined, Voldemort's wand does come in a black wand box. I love how evil it looks. It looks like it's carved out of bone. It has this bone-like quality and this kind of like almost bird-like bone hook at the end. It does taper to quite a sharp point. Again, very delicate because of the thinness of this one, but isn't it so cool? 
Sirius Black comes in a army type green, similar to that of Hermione's, but a little bit lighter. It has a lovely red velvet on the inside and this sh soft blue ribbon. Now I would say that Sirius Black's wand is very intricate indeed. It has these like runes etched into the sides of them, which are very intricate. And then the rest of it has a swirl and circles in. I mean, my goodness, what a complex wand to design. It is also quite light considering that, but then does have a good weight to it. So I do like this, but it is all one color. But I had to get this wand because it was actually the final wand that I got as part of all these Ollivander style boxes. And I'll show you the one that I got just before this wand as well. Now, love him or hate him, we can all agree that Snape is a very interesting character indeed. Now Snape's one is pretty simple for the majority of the one except the handle, which have these very intricate design on the handle. To me they look like almost Chinese or Japanese or, or some sort of design like that. But I believe they could also be like Celtic or Celtic, I'm not sure how to say it, but I believe it could be designs like that. I'm sure there was an interview of Alan Rickman saying something like that. So if you've asked yourself, which one should I get? The answer is, whichever you like the most. <laughs> because ones that I like and suggest will be very different to the ones that you like and will get. Ones are very subjective. And I don't want to recommend one that then you go for and then you've spent that money because they aren't cheap and then you're not happy with your choice. So you use it as the magic of like the wand choosing the wizard. When you see the ones in front of you or if you're looking online, which one calls out to you? Then go for that wand. That's how I've chosen them. And I've been very happy with my purchases rather than recommendations on something else. If you're going to be building up a collection, then remember it is gradual because you can't buy them all in one go. It's just too expensive. It's not realistic. So if you're going to be building up, Go with it gradually and remember you don't have to buy lots of merchandise to be a Harry Potter fan but if you want to build up a wand collection of course do it gradually. Ask for birthdays if you can, for Christmas presents or for any other holiday that you're able to, family or friends are able to purchase for you. That's a good way and it means there's always a gift because there's so many wands available. So go for the ones that you like the most. That is the answer. So these are the Harry Potter ones that come in the original style Ollivander's boxes. If you have enjoyed this video, then be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell because I will be making more videos like this, which you can see over here. And leave me a comment section below. Which of these is your favorite? I'll be really interested to know. Obviously I went for all of them, so they're all my favorite. <laughs> and with that, remember, the Wizarding World is just one spell away.